Um, standing on all existing protocol, I'd like to celebrate Ambassador. Thank you for this privilege. And I would like to celebrate the great Dr. Uwon King. Please, can we celebrate him, please? So before I introduce the Cubs, um, in 2017, I met Dr. Obon King, and he saw the work we, we are doing in Agege, how that we reach out to um, cult boys and other teenagers to make them functional adults. And we had about 300 in the conference called Teens and Girls with Uncle Okbe, and he saw that, and he was like, young man, you can scale up. You can raise new breed of leaders that will change the narrative of Africa. And with this strategy, we were able to move from hosting 300 teenagers to a 1,500 teenagers in the heart of Agege. You don't know what that means. <laughs> Gathering teenagers in Agege is no joke. All right? And he came, he gave us all the support. And after that, he said, you can move it up. Start a leadership institute. And from that leadership institute, we've been able to raise 500 young leaders, teenagers, <laughs> doing amazing stuff all over the world. We have them spread across USA, um, UK, Australia, and all of those. So out of the 500, we have two of them in the building this afternoon. Please join me to make welcome on stage, Conquest Omofaye. Can we celebrate Conquest? <laughs> Have a seat. All right. And I'll bring on stage Olua Nifemi Downsy. Please, can we celebrate him? So, I have a few questions to ask them, and I'm sure that um, you'll be inspired. You'll be inspired, trust me. First of all, um, I would like to start with Nifemi. How old are you? I'm 18. You are 18. So, he's about to graduate from <laughs> the institute to become senior adult, like they like to call themselves in the institute. Conquest, how old are you? 11. 11. Can we give them a round of applause, please? So, um, Nifemi, what does it mean to create your own world? And I need you to tell us the things that you do personally. Okay, that's a very brilliant question. Thank you so much for having me here, guys. Um, I would like to firstly say my name is Oluwa Nifemi Downsy, and five years ago at the age of 13, I made a decision never to be normal again, uh, to do extraordinary things. Um, to me, creating your own world means becoming a troublemaker. Because... Wow. Troublemaking is synonymous to creating your own world. Um, nothing big has ever been sustained without causing trouble, really. Um, and then, so going back again, at the age of 13, I started an organization because I wanted to cause trouble. Um, an organization which I imagined would train just maybe about 500 kids, uh, maybe in Agege, because I, I grew up in Agege. Um, so, and then fast forward to five years later, we're reaching over 10,000 kids people across 14 countries. Um, and that just basically shows me how the power of um, dreaming big works and power of consistency. It also shows me how troublemaking is important in creating your own world. Wow. I think that was amazing, right? You can check him out on Google. Everything he's saying is not audio, right? Everything is real. You can check it out on Google to confirm. Good. Oluwa Nifemi Downsy. Right? Yes. All right, Conquest. How are you doing? So I want to ask you, how can I create my world? So today's keyword has been, sorry, let me, okay, let me introduce myself. I am Conquest Amafai. I am 11 years old. I'm going to be 12 next month. So let me just say I'm, I'm 12. So... Today's keyword has been imagination, thought, and dreaming. I'm going to start by saying what Vincent van Gogh said when people asked him how he made these beautiful paintings. He said, I imagine my painting and then I paint my imagination. It goes to our life like, I imagine the life I want to live and then I live my imagination. <laughs> Every one of us right now, is currently living the life that we have imagined. It might be very hard to accept, but we, have li we are living the life that we have thought of. 
but only the successful people will agree to that. We have a higher faculty called imagination. Napoleon Hill said, imagination is the most miraculous and inconceivable thing the world has ever known. So imagination differentiates us from animals. You don't see a goat creating a car, do you? You don't see a horse creating a house, can you? So in essence, what I'm trying to say is that your thoughts make up your world. You make up your world by your imagination. Now, I am currently living the life I am imagining. Reason why I said this is because I'm still growing. I am still trying to make up my world and imagine how my world is going to be. Thank you. My God. My God. <laughs> so to create your world, you, one of the nations that you need to overcome is imagination. All right. We're going to learn some other nations from them pretty soon. <laughs> Nifemi. What is it like creating a world of your own at a young age? I mean, it's challenging, but I love the challenge. Because you can't necessarily bring up a solution when there's no problem. Um, that's how you thrive. Um, the world would only recognize you when you find a solution to problems that exist. I've, I've run an organization for five years as a teenager. Um, I have volunteers under me, over 50 volunteers that work with me. I've traveled across states in, in, in Nigeria. How many states? Uh, roughly about, I mean, close to 20 states in, in Nigeria. Um, running around and telling, um, providing digital skills for young, young persons. And then one thing that keeps me going is audacity. Audacity. Somebody and say then, audacity. Yeah, exactly. like Dr. Von Kick would do, say audacity. Um, yeah, audacity. And then one thing I would love us to do before I, um, I just want us to stand up. Please, 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 please. Okay. Just, let's just stand up and say one thing. Are you guys ready? I need the energy. <laughs> I will never be normal again. 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 Extraordinary always. Extraordinary always. Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> We've not even started. <laughs> All right, so conquest, I would, like you to, I would like to ask you the same question. So what is it like creating a world of your own at a young age? You know what they say, catch them young, right? I think it's the best thing for you, for people to start creating their world at a young age. I mean, at the age of 12, Jesus Christ already knew to go about his father's business. He already knew what he wanted to do and what he was. So, my daddy told me some stories from a book called Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. This book is, current, is telling us that many people have succeeded today, like Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. There are some, in some sports, if you don't have some certain competencies at the age of 10, it will be already too late, e.g. gymnastics. If you're already at the age of 10 and you don't know how to like, and you're not a professional already, they'll tell you your body is too stiff so you cannot move the way professionals at gymnastics move. I watched something with my dad. I saw an eight-year-old or nine-year-old girl performing 10 backflips in a row. So what I'm trying to say is that creating your world at a young age is the best. At the same time, it's cool. Wow. <laughs> so Nifemi, how can the world benefit from your creation? I firstly, I feel there's so much energy here for me to be sitting down. Uh, so um, how can the world create, um, benefit from my own creation? Firstly, I feel like the world will be privileged to benefit from my own creation, you know. Um, I'm sharing my own creation with the world. One thing um, that the world will benefit from is something called an innovative and an audacious solution to problems that already exist. Um, when I started my organization, I grew up in Agege, well, I mean, everybody would say, Psst. and then I saw that people didn't have access to quality education. Trust me. I could have gone on to say, oh, let me just do the usual thing, um, go to schools, buy them books, or pay the school fees of children that cannot go to school but I needed a very fast, innovative, and sustainable solution. Um, so I sat down and I said, okay, so I'm, what, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to train kids um, and equip them with digital skills. Because I know that the world is evolving and digital skills are evolving as well. And then so, 
I reached out to a lot of people around me and I said, oh, I want to start an organization. Someone told me, well, in the next one year, you, you, you get tired and you do things your um, kids your age do. Um, and then I, I, I don't know why, but I said, well, I'm not kids my age because I feel like I'm bigger than my age, if, you, if you'll agree with me. Um, and then, so, we started training kids, um, digital skills. The structures evolved around time and now. And then fast forward to 2020, I became a global team leader. Um, I got my global team leader award from Grammy Award winner, Nair Rogers. Um, I became an ambassador to several organizations. I mean, I sit on different boards, and that's to tell you that there's nothing, there's nothing that you cannot achieve. Once you can create your world, um, and then get people to see that this world is different, is unique. It's something that you've never seen before. It's innovative, it's audacious. Then you can continue to thrive. Wow. That was amazing. All right, so Conquest. We know you're young. Both of you are young. And um, you have tendencies to want to enjoy, you know, and live life, all right? So how do you remain focused? We have something called family time at home. We usually do it on Sunday evenings. So one of the lessons taught was knowing who you are. It is said that you are the composite of the five people you move with on a regular basis. If you are a focused person and you move with unfocused people, you will become unfocused. If you are a focused person and you move with focused people, you will still stay the way you are. And if you are an unfocused person and you go and move with focused people, you will become focused. So it's just best to stay with your kind. So it can be relatively easy for you to stay focused. Wow. So if you work with five distracted people, don't look for the next distracted human being because you are the one. Just like Dr. Von King will say, if you work with five foolish people, <laughs> you are the sixth foolish person. And if you work with five wise people, you're the sixth wise, wise person. And he will buttress that by, by teaching us the law of crabology. Man, you need to watch Dr. Walking on YouTube. All right. So over to you, Nifemi. Uh, you're a young man, and you graduate from Uncle um, Kwe's watch soon. So how do you stay focused? That's, that's a very bright question from a very bright young man, I must say. Um, Like I said earlier, I said I would never be ordinary again. Extraordinary people don't follow trends. They set trends. Um, let, me, let me give you a very short story. I, don't, I have never said this before. So my, my parents moved me from a school, which was like a very true school, to like a, you know, like a, a very rare school. Um, and then I, I mean, my mom would drop me off at school. They would give me lunchbox. And everybody was calling me Tush, tush Boy. Um, I think a week after, I was telling my parents, can you stop giving me lunchbox? Instead, just give me money, let me buy food in school. And instead, stop dropping me off at school, let me be going to school myself. And my mommy said, you're not normal. You're not like them. I'm going to tell you something. The, the next term, I came to school, and everybody was carrying lunchboxes. That showed me the power of being extraordinary, being audacious. It's that you set a trend, and people continue to follow that trend. And even when you're not there, the trend continues to evolve, even beyond you. Our dreams evolve beyond that we can, I mean, we cannot imagine how far our dreams can go. Our dreams fly, fly, and fly high. Wow. Everything that you can see a product of things that you can't see. They were, ones, a pro, they were ones in your mind, all right? So your imagination is powerful, all right? Conquest, I would like to ask you finally, what do you have to say to teenagers and preteens that are watching you and they're right here in the hall? I just want to say a big thank you to the great ambassador of this program. I really want to thank you for putting me on this platform so I can be able to impact lives with what I have. So for all the teenagers and preteens out there, I, I advise you that you are the one that makes up your own world. So many people are stuck in life today because they do not know the way to design their life. So they become victims of who life happens to. But if you are able to design and create your own world, you will become a person who happens to life. I want to tell you that your imagination makes up your world. You can do anything you want. So far, you dream and imagine it. Thank you. See, you've not... <laughs> 
you've not even heard anything. We have loads of them, uh, all right? And we have a program called Teens and Girls with Uncle Kwe, and, you know, um, Ubon King Foundation is a major supporter, all right? So, Nifemi, over to you. Well, I'm sure you are privileged. Um, yeah, I mean, you're privileged to listen to me. <laughs> one, thing, one thing I would love to say is there's something, there's something called a projector. Your world is a projection of what you imagine and what you dream of. Never dream small. Never dream small. Never dream small. Never dream small. I mean, it sounds cliche, but never dream small. I mean, look at me. I'm a very, I'm a living example of not dreaming small, dreaming big. So, can we do this one more time? I will never, ever, ever be ordinary. Let's go. One, two, go. I, I will, will never, never ever, ever, ever be ordinary. ordinary. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you so much. But before we wrap it up, in the Teens Leadership Institute, I teach them the power of overcoming nations to create your world. I stylishly mentioned one, which is what? Imagination. The next one is related to the first one. It is called impregnation. You've heard a lot of things in this conference. You've been impregnated with certain ideas, right? Now, be careful the kind of ideas you are impregnated with. Somebody thought about Boko Haram, all right? Now, <laughs> yes, everything you see around are product of things in the mind. So make sure that you're careful of the things you're impregnated with. And also, like she said, be careful of people that are contrary to your conceptions. They call them contraceptives. They can abort what you have in your mind. So be careful of your association. And lastly, the last nation that you need to overcome is procrastination. Procrastination is so deadly. If you read the Bible, the, the Egyptians were, were faced with plagues, frogs everywhere. And Moses told Pharaoh, young um, King Pharaoh, let's, let me release my people and these frogs will disappear. And he said, give me one more night. Let me go and think about it. Imagine going back home to sleep with frogs. That is how dangerous and disastrous procrastination can be. So don't just leave here saying, I'm going to act on these things I've heard next week. Do it. Now. Do it. Now. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. I need to say one more thing before we leave. Um, I want you guys to do something for me. Can you bring out your phones and start recording? Please, please, please. Okay, let's go. Um, are you guys recording already? Yeah. My name is Oluwani Femi Downs, and I'm the biggest change maker in Africa. Watch me, watch me, watch me. In the next few years, the next few years, you guys will be begging me for autographs. Thank you so much. I also want to say, I want you guys to all subscribe to my channel. I've not really posted anything this year or from the past few months because I've been really busy with school, but I assure you what you're going to watch is going to be amazing and in life impacting. And of course, you can check out Onkokwe TV on YouTube or search for Teens and Girls with Onkokwe coming up in May. In Agege, people come from Abelkuta, Badagri, Leki to come listen to my teenagers in Agege. All right, thank you so much. I can get to the world. <laughs>
conquest. Wow, isn't she powerful? We've enjoyed having you on this platform, and I hope you'll come back again. So on behalf of the Ubon King Foundation, I'm presenting this to you. Thank you for adding flavor and making this year phenomenal. God bless you. And Uncle Okpe, <laughs> their mentor, in short, your work speaks for you. There's nothing much to say. Your work speaks for you. And we'll continue to speak for generations to come. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. You added color to this year's event. God bless you. God bless you. So on behalf of the Wong King Foundation, I'm presenting this to you for making Thinkation 2022 phenomenal. Thank you.